Here's your second dockyard preview as you earn 15,000 wrecking ball trinkets. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to our second preview of Dockyard. Joining me today is Nexus. Hey everyone. And at the end of our last preview, we left ourselves off here at the start of the bridge. So without further ado, let's go down this cheeky little side route here, which brings us right into the river. Ah yes, the river. The river is the best route to take when your EV is kind of stuck on the bridge above you there. You know, you can come down here and have a little bit of a tussle with the enemy at the MG nest. Things are getting a bit hot and heavy for you. You can easily escape to your left under ah, the tunnel here. Let's go this way. And you can rest up and flank nice and easily through one of these routes. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, so we do have a secondary objective here. And if that is all healed up and working properly, this door will be closed. So it forces you back onto the main road here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because you can play the angles. Can play the angles and also have that tussle with the MG. Uh, but ideally, it'd be nice to go into there, which brings you into a safer area of the yeah. map. The generator room is, is very, very useful for defenders, and it's probably the most important part of this first stage of the objective. Mm, definitely. So, say if that door's closed and you get forced back onto here, there's a few areas which you really need to be aware of. So, first of all, you've got this little area here. You've got underneath the wrecking ball, you've got the MG, you've got the whole street open here, that window, and this window here, which sounds like a lot. But if you're very methodical, you can make sure that each place is very carefully like, taken care of. So first of all, if we were to look into this area, uh, this brings us to a very familiar area which we talked about in our previous video, which is watching those repairable doors. So this is, you know, just what it kind of looks like. Then moving out of here, we move up to where the wrecking ball is. Now this is quite a diverse spot, isn't it? This is my favorite part of this part. I mean, favorite part of the map, probably. Because um, you can you can use a lot of the gameplay space here. So the, the key part is, if you look here, you've got the ammo crate and you've got the MG. So as an attacker coming through here, getting control of this area not only relieves pressure on your team, but it means obviously you can restock an ammo and you have a lot of control over the map. The next best bit about it is if you go to the right here, there's a lovely little trick jump through here which all flows beautifully into the generator room. And this is where you can start to get control of the generator room so that you can allow the attackers more routes into the objective. Mm, look at that. It gives you, it's, it's a really nice flowing area. I know what you mean that when you say, you know, you can kind of go in there, get ammo, restock, check the MG, and then jump across here. It does flow really nicely. And then, you, yeah, blow that thing up, get that open, and then your teammates can come and support you. Yeah. So if you were to blow that up and get the door open, and you run up here, this spot gives you a nice overview of the whole of this street. So if you again, if you are finding it quite difficult to push the MG down, instead of trying to control the MG, control the area around the MG. So push up, flank again, heavy damage dealers, naders, get your grenades in, uh, Kiras, get your lasers in, and just shoot the hell out of everyone. Yeah, pretty much. And you can also, if people do jump across here to try and catch up with you, you can see them. You can like just get so much information and feed that back to your team and let them know where everyone is. Yeah, especially if you're you playing like a you know covert ops like a Vasily or, or Amy, you can actually use this advantage to you know throw a snitch down, throw a heartbeat center down. Use that to aid your team as well because you have perfect sight of everyone there. Mm. So these routes go into the next section. So we're not looking at that part of the map just yet. That's for our next video. If we come out onto the road here. Ooh, that's the next video. But we have this underpass area, which if I run through, leads back to the wrecking ball. So that just shows how diverse this is. You can either jump up, go across, use the MG to control the street, or go through the underpass. Yeah, the underpass is really, really useful for attackers as well to, you know, again, we talk about relieving pressure, but this is another one of these aspects where you have to, you flank around the back, you can do a lot of damage to the team when they're not paying attention. Um, but I mean, the main reason for this route is, is so that defenders can quickly get to, you know, the, the gameplay space and they can get to the fight as fast as possible. And that's it for this preview. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Nexus, for joining me. No worries. And if you want to see the next preview of Dockyard, you'll need to earn 5,000 Blue Boat Trinkets. So get into game, get earning, and we'll see you in the next one.